So we're Monday, the 20th of February. Now I'm just, well I left them into this little area here. They have about the same on both sides of that hedge. I left them in yesterday. They had lots of nice picking. And I'm after giving them a half a bale of hay just there now. Well, not half a bale, about a third of a bale. And I threw it up on them forest bushes there. So uh, I'm after being standing here now for the last 10 or 15 minutes, just gathering my thoughts and trying to work out exactly um, what's the situation or what am I going to do going forward now after our bit of an incident there and our setback. But um, we're a month out from Cavan, I'm just looking at the cows and they're starting to spring. I wasn't as tight on the dates this year. I just know that the last one to be bulled was that little black white head there. She was bulled on the 17th of June, June, May, April, March. So she is due, her time is up at nine months plus whatever she carries on St. Patrick's Day. So she was the last to be bulled. And I think uh, our, our downed cow that's gone was uh, very close by to that if not um, slightly afterwards I think I remember I don't know any but uh, yeah so uh, this year now is going to be uh, a real learning curve to uh, see exactly what way I am genetically with these cattle and the suitability for this uh, system now, obviously, as you know, I have mostly short-term genetics here, and I have a bit of Hereford, and I have them Galloways. Why is my phone doing that? That's very aggravating. Um, now, I've been crying out them Galloways a bit uh, for their behaviour, but they are tough cattle. So, um, I'll see how I get on with them now this year when they calf. There's two of them duty calf, but well, they only have two. Um, I have young heifers coming on then as well. Um, that little red lady there is a purebred heifer. Um, the commercial ones might be sold. I don't know. Um, that larger frame cow there with the horn, she could go soon as well. Now I know I've said all these things before and I've done the very opposite. So uh, basically I'm just trying to work it out in my head. <clears throat> but anyhow, I'm looking forward to the calves coming. Um, I'm looking forward to the spring growth and I'm looking forward to seeing them put on that bit of condition coming into the summer. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave them on this bit of ground here now for the next couple of days on both sides. There's lots of picking. There is our Galloway cow there now after mowing her own daughter out of it. Isn't it amazing? But, uh, yeah, that is the situation at the minute. I might, uh, I'm in two minds whether to go completely pedigree with the short horns and move on the, uh, the non pedigree short horns. And I was also thinking of then cross breeding them with something else every other year. So I could go purebred one year and then I could cross them with another beef breed every yeah every other year and uh, see how I get on that way. Um, so I don't know. So this year is going to tell a lot anyhow. Definitely. But it's amazing how now they have lots of grass both sides of that hedge and it's amazing how they're delighted to get that bit of hay. They quit grazing straight away and go back to the hay. So they're balancing themselves out, naturally themselves. There's a young Galloway there now and she's... She's in great shape, don't man. She's walking it. No bother at all to her. So the cows are in all in good condition. Um, that mishap and that whole fluke thing now is after throwing me completely. I tested their manure during the summer last year and they tested positive for fluke, but they tested negative for uh, 
for the other parasites, for worms. Um, that one cow did uh, go down with it, but the rest seemed to be uh, perfectly fine. I have to do some more research on uh, on uh, on fluke. It seems to be a, a curse. Is there any organic farmers watching this, or how are they managing? I'd like to hear back in the comments. One man did tell me that he lost two cows last year and one this year to fluke. How are the organic people managing fluke? Or are they just doing what we're trying to do here? Call out the susceptible ones and hold on to the ones that can manage to carry a burden. Um, I suppose before man, it was natural for them to carry a, a burden of some sort. If they couldn't, they'd be all gone. They'd be extinct by now. So we need to find that animal that can thrive with a burden and keep on top of it. Like these cattle are doing here now, to be honest. That one cow we had, her mother was a weak type of a cow and uh, she ended up being the same. There's people telling me there could be yonis as well. I don't think so myself. Her mother tested negative for yonis even in the latter stages. She never died. She just wasn't a thrifty cow and she had watery dung. She got sold anywho and she was sent off to the boneyard. Um, and she tested negative for yonis. This lady, her water, or her dung only went to water in the latter end after all the quacking. She had a bit of bottle jaw. When we dosed her, the bottle jaw left her. So, which tells me it was fluke. That time, that was given her the bottle jaw and whatever harm was done to her, she never got over. And her liver damage and all the quacking and all the antibiotics caused her to uh, go down further, I think. She never got over the harm that was caused. So anyhow, I, that's what I believe. So I've only a bullock belonging to her now and she, he'll be going soon as well. well I'm going to let him off. I'll probably dose him actually, to be honest. So that's the crack with the cattle at the minute. On the 20th of February, a month out from calving, they'll all calf fairly close together again, I think, this year. Um, that little blue there now, she is due in two months' time, but she's fairly round looking now as well. So yeah, it'll be interesting. I'm going to keep a tight eye on them. So that is the update with the cattle. It's onwards and upwards. We're going to make our way up that hill there now and up to the top. So we have grass to give them every three days for the next while. And maybe I'll have to start thinking more about these Galloways as well. Look at them little hardy hoers. That lady there, you can see that she's starting to slacken behind as well. I don't know what she's carrying to. If she calves early, it's not to our bowl. She shouldn't be due until April. But she's slacking in already, so that tells me she's carrying to something else. And I'm going to mention what I think it is for now until I see. But uh, she's a nice shape of a heifer for what she is. So, anyhow, I've hate throwing up in them forest bushes. Winds or gorse, depending on what part of the country you're from. Um, so they're happy enough and content for now. And I'm in better form myself too. So this year is going to be a big year. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to the calves. And uh, looking forward to hitting the grass in earnest. Spring grass. So for now, I'll say good luck and goodbye.